So this video is going to be the first video of the engine swap. Uh, today I'm going to start pulling the engine out. Hopefully today I'll get the engine and transmission out and then I can start pulling parts off of it, putting it on the new engine, doing some stuff to the transmission and, and getting it back in the car. So I've already started a little bit. Um, I just kind of, I took the battery out and then I drained all the fluid. I drained the oil, the coolant and the transmission. Um, and I got the transmission fluid I'm saving because I recently replaced it with, where is it? So I made sure I saved the transmission gear oil because I recently put this Amsoil Severe gear in it. Um, probably not even 5,000 miles ago. So uh, I don't want this to go to waste because it's pretty much brand new. But yeah, so that's the plan today. We're going to get the engine and trans out. Hopefully, we'll see how it goes. But uh, right now I'm just going to kind of start um, taking the intake manifold or the intake intake manifold off kind of taking up all these accessories off Okay, so now that I got the intercooler off, uh, the next thing I want to try to take off is the uh, air oil separator. So I got to unhook all these lines associated and pop it off. All right, so now I'm going to take all the uh, lines off the radiator so I can pull the radiator out. Just a little bit. And there's um, a couple connectors down here that connect to the radiator. Uh, I'm gonna un unplug those and then uh, we're gonna unbolt the radiator. So I also got these two hoses right here that need to come off. Those go inside to the um, the heater core. So the next step is just going to be starting to take off all these uh, accessory pro uh, belts and and all sorts of stuff. So uh, I just went through and unplugged all these connectors and I, I grabbed this harness and flopped it out of the way. So um, next I'm just going to try to get this uh, power steering off. Uh, I'm going to start by taking off the belt, untensioning it, and then I can pull off the power steering and kind of just sit it right over there with the battery used to go. Okay, 
Okay, so I need to get to this bolt right here, but this little plastic piece is in the way. And it looks like if you just stick a screwdriver down here, and there's a little tab that comes off. All right, so now the alternator bracket's gotta come off. So yeah, and then there's one more um, bolt down this back side right here. So you see the long extension. So now it's looking like that bolt right down there is gonna have to come off, so. Got a variety of extensions, and hopefully this will break it, break it loose. Okay, so now it's out of the way. You can see those two bolts right there. Uh, I need to pull those out to disconnect the power steering pump from that bracket. Okay, so I hung this uh, AC condenser thingy off to the side, AC pump. Uh, alternator is out of the way. Uh, now I just need to take the power steering pump out, and it looks like there's three bolts. There's one back here, and then there's one down there, and then one let's see, right there. So we're going to take those off, pull the power steering pump out. Hopefully this one will just kind of lay down in this area. There's some flex in there. We'll see. We'll see what I can do. Hey, we need to put these uh, power steering bolts back on very tight. Okay, so uh, this was the bracket that was on the AC pump bolted to, as well as the alternator. Uh, so I took the AC off and it's over there. Now I need to reinstall this because this little loop right here is what you hook your engine hoist up to to pull the engine. So now I just need to remove this vacuum line from the brake booster right here. Okay, so now I'm going to remove the fuel lines. Um, I laid down some towels here and I'm going to use this to kind of protect it a little bit, try to keep a lot of the gasoline from spraying everywhere but I have this tool and it's just used for removing high pressure fuel lines Surprised me. Disconnected now. There we go. Nice and easy. Come on. There we go. So now I just got to unplug this O2 sensor right here. Um, and cut that zip tie and I think I probably also have to unplug this guy which is the uh, I think it's a exhaust gas temperature probe so I'm just gonna unplug those two connectors real quick so now this big connector underneath the intercooler unplug that so now I just got to go and uh, remove this starter so I'm gonna unbolt this ground strap unbolt the power to the top of the starter and then I got to take the bolts out and I got to do it from the top and from the bottom so it's gonna be hard to film so I'm just gonna skip it when I, and I'll come back when the starters out I need to disconnect this little ground strap right here from the engine so I just want to show you where the motor mount bolts are so this is the oil pan you see the drain plug and then that's one of the motor mount bolts and then right there is the other motor mount bolt and that's the motor mount right there and that's the bolt so I'm going to take those bolts out and that will essentially disconnect the engine from the transmit or from the chassis so uh, there's also this little line right here 
not to forget about. Um, so that line plugs into the intake manifold on that little nipple. Um, and that line goes to the fuel pressure regulator. Um, it's like a vacuum ref line, reference line for the fuel pressure regulator. So the motor mounts are unbolted. Um, I think all I have left to do is unbolt the downpipe from the turbo. Um, I'm probably just going to take, I'll loosen the turbo. I think that you just have to loosen it. Um, and then the, the bolts for the transmission bell housing bolts. Uh, I don't know how many of those there are, but I have to locate those. But I'll get the uh, downpipe out of the way, and then we can start working on the uh, bell housing bolts. Okay, so um, I got this downpipe nut off, this bolt off, and this is out. It's just there so I don't drop the downpipe on me. But there's two more um, bolts on the bottom that I have to access from the bottom. And one of them is really hard to get to. Uh, not hard to get to, but I've tried taking this off before. And it's I think it's this bolt right here. does not want to come off. So um, I'm just going to work at that. I probably won't film that part because it's going to probably take me 10 minutes. But... I'll be back once that's unbolted. Okay, so as you can see by the gap, the downpipe is unbolted. And like I said, that bottom bolt right there, the stud, I had to cut it with a sawzall because it was just not coming off. Okay, so. All the bell housing bolts are out, and I will show you where those go later. But um, if you look, let me see if I can zoom in on it. So, do you see that stud right there? The bottom bolts on the bell housing have a stud. And the previous owner, when he did the clutch on it, did not put those nuts back on, so I didn't have to take those off. But then there's those two bolts with the starter, and then there's one, two, three bolts right there. And that's all the bell housing bolts. I loosen the transmission mount bolts. The motor mount bolts are off. And as far as I can tell so far, all the hoses and wires that are going to the car are disconnected. So all I need to do is hook up the load leveler to that hook and that hook right there. And then we should be able to pull the engine out. Okay, so the engine didn't want to come out because this little ear on the turbo was hitting the transmission. So I had to loosen it up. But there's uh, that, that bolt right there. And then there's one hidden back there. And then there's one straight down between the downpipe and stuff. So I took those off. Uh, now I think it should come out pretty easily.
Alright guys, so engine's out now. Um, the camera died right when I was about to pull it, so I had to film that last little part with my phone. Um, the lighting's not too great in here. But, uh, let's see, I'll rotate it. So, I found this when I pulled it, but the uh, old turbo is super blown. Like, there's so much shaft play, and I'm kind of surprised that it even made boost. But, um, engine's out. Um, all I have to do now is start and, like, pull off all the stuff from the top that I need to put on the new motor. But uh, I'm not going to film that, but I will film putting everything back on to the new motor. So I'm going to pull this stuff off, off camera, clean everything. And then when I put it back on to the new motor, which is over there, I will film that part.